What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Well, our last episode, remember, we were uh, burning a lot of zombies, so I'm going to do a quick check of that today. Um, we're going to go down there and take a look to see how that fire is burning. I'd like, I brought my katanas with me, um, and right now I have a pistol equipped. And just in case I need to re-corral them, um, these zombies, you know, keep them all corralled up. And everything. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to focus on that today. Just trying to kill off the remainder of these zombies. Um, hopefully, I don't have to do a lot of shooting right now. I'd like to just just uh, kill these zombies with uh, my katana now, the, the remainder at least. But I don't know how many are down here anymore. Uh, fires are burning still uh, around here and there. Um, so that looks good. So here, here's the piles. The piles are still here. We still have a lot of zombies, as you can see. I still got to take beta blockers to run through this area, I think. Um, yeah, it's looking that way. Uh, so I'll, I'll go ahead. We'll, we'll re-corral them. We're going to do a little bit of this, but not too much. I don't want to be stuck doing this forever. So let's take some pills. And uh, let's just take a look. And we'll, we'll do some shots here. This should be nice. I'm not going to be able to hit these zombies worth anything. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it, it, there's no way. This is just to gather them. Just using the 9 mil. Just gather zombies. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill them, so it's like, you know, bad. Look at that. Look at that. I can't hit anything. <laughs> My aiming's not good enough right now, so it's, it's okay. We're just using this just to move them around and see what we have left. We might have a lot of fast zombies still, so that's kind of sucky. Alright, let's see if we can find that big pile, because I remember we had a big pile before. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's, there's still a little bit of a pile here, but they're going to start burning out. <laughs> I can't hit nothing, man. I can't hit the broad side of a barn, man. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. But that should start moving them that, uh, our way. Uh, that's what we kind of want. I don't know if this is safe. Probably a bad idea. Bad idea. I was going to try to cut all the way that way, but I didn't know what we're going to be running into. So it's probably best not to do that. Okay. Long we stay safe here. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, that looks scary, man. It looks scary around here. Wow, man. This should probably work on my uh, aim skill a little bit. I, I have to open up some more 9 mil, it looks like. Alright. Still a lot, man. It's still a lot of zombies here. Alright. See if we can gather them up as best as possible. I want to keep them in the open field because I keep running through those little woods area and that's really hard for me to see them. See if there's zombies around there. I'm on Emery's now. It looks like our beef jerky is about gone. Okay, we'll just take a shot here and there. Okay. Now I'm gonna just keep moving them like left and right. So now that I got them moving that way, I'm gonna try to come up above them and come around, and then we'll move them over to the other end. Move them the other way. Why? See, look, see how they're dispersing? Man, they just separate like crazy now. Now let's see if we can move them this way. And it's not me running that's causing that. Oh, look at that. I actually hit a zombie. Oh, I hit him. That's amazing. Oh, man. Alright, let's see. So they should be coming this way again. Let's take a look what we got going on here. Oh, look at that. Look at that good fire going on there. I think I'll just stick right here. I bet y'all get some sneaking done. Oh, man. I want to get my katana out, I think. Yeah, because I could just stand here if they don't notice me. I can uh, definitely do this. Okay, come on. All right. A couple saw me, but that's all right. We just want to katana them. Can't let them get too close so I can burn. Alright, that's good. We're staying close to the fire. Um, and and uh, we'll just take out any little 
zombies that might come. Like, uh, as long as it's not too many. Yeah, I think they're starting to... Too, too many of them are just starting to get around us. And I'm, I'm not too great with the katana yet because my blade skill isn't that great. These are the fast zombies too. Okay. This is gonna work a little bit on my uh, blade skill anyways though and my maintenance that I really need to get up anyways. Kind of what I want to do. It's a little scarier with burning zombies, though. Because if they don't fall when I hit them, man, they, they can get right up on my nutsack, man. I don't need that. Uh-oh. See, he's spreading fire. That's scary. I don't like that. Oh, come on, man. Crawlers, too. They should burn out, though, those crawlers. Ouch. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. I'm getting drenched. I didn't even realize that. I hate it when it rains like this. I forgot to put on my uh, raincoat. Uh, raincoat, raincoat. Let's wear that, bud. Let's wear it. Come on. And now I think it just stopped raining. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I deserve that. Alright, that's pretty good. I'll let that little, yeah, see that little burning zombie there. Okay, oh, okay, we got too much weight on us. Let's move the pistol over. Oh, I got two katanas on me, that's why. Let's move this katana here. Alright, then we'll go check on the fire again. Since I've been moving over here a little bit. Oh, we gotta eat some food again, man. Alright, we got a zombie right here. She didn't notice us, though. She didn't care about us. Okay. Is that it? Alright, hopefully that's it. We got some zombies down here that, that aren't cooperating and not being part of the fire. Got a lot of burning out, though, and that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see this burning out going on. A lot of, a lot of burnt out zombies. We could just like kind of stay around here, let these guys burn out a little bit. Hopefully they don't see us. I got a little, a couple of them saw me already. Yeah, they're just gonna run into me right now. All right, let's do our little run, our little song and dance here. Try not to burn ourselves. Yeah, this is like, I think this is the longest uh, fire. I've, I've, I just can't believe how many zombies I got right now all right How, how's the piles I should be seeing a lot more of these piles of ashes everywhere yeah okay well they're dispersing but they're still burning though so that's good so I don't know I don't know how much longer I want to continue working on this fire I'd like to get into some projects today um, and then maybe come back to this and everything. I would like also to see how the town is looking since we've really burnt out a lot of zombies here. And be nice. These guys aren't burning, so maybe we'll just kill a couple of them. Since we're in good health right now. God, man, beta blockers, really? Let's take some. Okay. Just gotta make sure no zombies come behind me and that they don't group up on me too fast. Okay, yeah, some fast zombies. We gotta separate these guys as fast ones. Okay. I'm probably going to drag these guys a little too close to my house, so I probably don't want to do that. Okay. 
Although, you know, this little patch right here shouldn't be too hard to take care of, especially with a katana. And I gotta be careful, these katanas break so fast, you, you don't even realize it. You're like, you take a swing and then all of a sudden, boom, goodbye katana. We're doing a, a walkathon here, you know, this is what's going on. We're just taking these guys on a long walk. Uh, it's a walk for cancer. I'm the, uh, or it's a marching band. Here I am. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I know that's like circus. Why did I even? No, that's not marching man. <laughs> I don't know how to do drums, man. I can't do the drums. Bum 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 ba da bum 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 bum. I'm the bat uh, baton twirler in the front. Da 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 da. <laughs> Come on, guys. Keep up. All right, there we go. These guys will burn out pretty fast because I'm hitting them too. All right, I expect this katana is not too much longer. They don't last that long. Come on, don't burn me, man. Don't burn me. Okay, I brought these guys up to my house, it looks like. I wanted to show my house off, you know. I, I know it's not great yet, but you know, when you, you gotta be proud of your stuff. So you take people over, you know, you get the house all ready. It's ready for visitors, man. You guys, uh, I really wanted to show you guys. Oh, Come on, come on. Yeah, this group's almost dead. That's good. We, we, we're just about dead. Just about dead. Almost. Just a couple more. They should all burn out right now. There we go. That's it. All right, man. That was a good little group. Nice little group of zombies. Uh, how bad is my katana now? No, not too bad, actually. I've seen them go down a lot quicker than that. That's pretty good. I probably didn't get credit for a lot of those kills, unfortunately. Yeah, we got a little bit of blade maintenance now. Good. This is good. Oh, God. Ugh, I hate uh, I'm standing so close to these fires sometimes all right all right I think that's it for today on the burning man god Let, let's make something today uh I have to think about that for a second so I'm gonna put you guys on a little pause back home you know let's figure out what we want to actually do today I don't really know I know I was trying to start making this water pump and that's probably a thing I want to continue trying to do. I'll take a look at the requirements of what else I actually need to make. Um, and then maybe we'll get that done today. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. I'm outside with my carpenter's bench and my saw buck out here for a reason. We got a few things. I do want to make that water pump uh, eventually. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it all today. But we're going to try to get as much done as possible. Um, first things first, though, we do need to make... Um, if you look at this, I gotta make a, I gotta make a water tower. Now, the things that we've already completed, we already got that empty well, and we have a wooden windmill. We already did those two things. Um, what I want to move to next is making this uh, water tower. But in order to make a water tower, we're gonna need a wooden vat and uh, this trough. I need to make a, a wooden trough for. What do I need the trough? Oh, I need it for the actual uh, water pump. Is I need a wooden trough. So I was thinking about trying to make this wooden uh, vat and this wooden trough uh, today. And that shouldn't be too hard. And then maybe be able to build this water tower. The My biggest um, limitations right now is going to be how many steel pipes I can get out of this. Because I need, for the water pump, or the water tower, I need three steel pipes. And then for the water pump, I'm going to need ten steel pipes. And both of them need monkey wrenches too. So I don't know. We're, we'll see how many... Uh, how much steel we have around I know I have like five or six uh, steel pipes and I could probably make some more steel pipes and stuff but we'll see um, okay so what do we need to do what do I want to work on first well I want to make let's make this trough first since it's the easiest it's just eight planks eight nails carpenter bench not a big deal so let's go ahead and pick that up real quick I have uh, some planks and stuff already ready not everything I need we will have to do a little bit more cutting but I'll put all the planks on me it's not a big deal Okay, that should be eight at least. That's probably more than eight. And then uh, we can make this wooden trough. Okay. All right, so there's our wooden trough. Let's just put that on our inventory. 
and then move it out away from the carpenter bench just so we can have a look what it looks like I mean we know what a trough looks like not a big deal all right there's our wooden trough uh, it doesn't serve as a container that's fine but yeah it, we'd be filling that with vegetable oil or anything but, but we're not using it for that purpose right now um, also too when I run out of water I'm waiting to do this I've been I, I, I keep putting it off uh, making a, a double canteen with the belt and everything so we will do that today eventually once that happens all right the next thing once I run out of water at least uh, the next thing we're gonna work on is the wooden vat uh, we're gonna need four wooden rings and then the planks okay so the wooden rings aren't too bad those are pretty easy we just got to make some blocks so we'll make um, saw no no wooden block we'll just do it with one because it gives you a lot of blocks just from one yeah nine of them okay so then I want to make wooden rings why am I not getting an option for oh yeah they're there okay make uh, I think it's just two let's see no, it's four. We need four wooden rings. Okay, one, two, three, and four. All right, so that's going to be the four wooden rings, and then we need eight planks. So let's just go grab some more of our planks that I have laying around here. Did I put the rings on the ground, or do I have them? I have them. Okay. All right, let's fast forward this till we have eight. Okay, we got eight now. And then we just need the carpenter bench and that should be it. Yeah, the wooden vat. Okay, so we got the vat done. All right, perfect. Let's take a look at what this thing looks like. Uh, right here. Cool, we got ourselves wooden vat, wooden trough. Now the next thing we wanna work on is the water tower. Um, we need three steel pipes. We got the. We need some beams. We need some uh, lumber stacks, uh, and wooden shingles. Um, I never really make shingles, but I'm I'm assuming they're pretty easy. Yeah, let's see. Uh, wooden shingles, just planks and a saw. Yeah, we 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 don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, so we need thirty wood shingles. So let's see how many shingles we can get right here. Like, how many does one give us? Like, uh, make wooden shingles. How many does one do for us? Okay, we get three per, so we need 30, so we're gonna need 10, so we'll do all of these. Um, make wooden shingles, all seven, that's fine. Let's just get those all done. That gives us 24, we need to need a few more. Four and then that's six. That should be six more. So that should be thirty. Okay, so that's the thirty shingles that we needed. Um, we need the wooden vat and all this stuff. So we'll put the shingles on the ground right here by the wooden vat and stuff. It's not a big deal. All right. Then the next thing we need is well, let's go get our steel pipes. I need three of them. And, uh, and a monkey wrench. We're going to need a monkey wrench. I God, I really hope I didn't smelt all my monkey wrenches down. I was like, I never really have any use for monkey wrenches. Now I do. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I smelted those. Ah, I really hope I hope I didn't. Monkey, monkey. Monkey wrench, huh? Yeah. It's not looking good. Well, at least not in that pack. Maybe in here. I bet I smelted it. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that, that sounds like me. Um, I just want to make sure I didn't put it somewhere like weird. I guess I, you know, I could have put it in. I have like a, a storage uh, box that I've been keeping all my tools at. Maybe they have one in there. That'd be nice. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing one. All right, well, we're gonna have to make a monkey wrench. I wonder if I can just smell, uh, make one of those in blacksmithing. Monkey. Oh, really? <clears throat> How about just like wrench? So, you know what? Don't smelt those down ever, guys. <laughs> oh, man, that's gonna suck. So, we, I, I gotta find one of those. I'm not gonna be able to do this today. Hmm. Unless, unless I got one laying around somewhere. I'll put a little pause. And just make sure, like, out of all the boxes and things that I have, maybe I have another monkey wrench laying around somewhere. 
Um, I'll, I'll take a look and see if I can find one and I'll bring you guys back. Well, you guys, I looked around and I don't have a monkey wrench. So it looks like we're just going to have to probably go in town. We did get a, a vat up and a trough. So that is nice. At least we're starting to move that direction for uh, nice, good, easy, clean water in the future. But uh, it is something we're going to have to move back into town for. So what, the next thing I wanted to do, though... Um, and it's just a real easy thing is just make this canteen, uh, take my two canteens. I have another one right here. And then, uh, once I get to some water, um, we'll go ahead and strap those together and make a double canteen with a belt, which will be nice. I'll be our, our good water source for now. Um, and then, uh, so I think about, I'm thinking about just going into town for a little bit. I, I don't see why not. Um, we could probably uh, loot up some places pretty easily now Now that we've done such a huge burning up here. Now, there are still zombies, of course, like, like this lady here. But I'm hoping that we took care of most of it. Oh, she had an energy bar on her. Nice. Nice. I like them energy bars. But yeah, so we'll probably walk by the fire to see how that's doing. Um... And then, uh, you know, just get into town a little bit and see if we can find ourselves. You know what I have? I don't think I've gone to the, the general store yet. So I think I could probably swing past the general store. Um, I'm hoping that we killed most of the zombies. Um, or at least brought most of them up here for now. You know, I, I'm sure there's still a lot of zombies. But I'm thinking we probably brought a lot of them out. You know, out of here. I don't know. Maybe not. It still looks like quite a bit of zombies right now. Let's uh, get ready to run, and here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Wow, look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, my God. I don't think I can get through there. I probably could, but that would be dangerous. Maybe we can cut through here? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, maybe. Wow. Oh, my God. Whoa. Wow, that was a little dangerous. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we get to the general store now. Still a lot of zombies out here, though. You know, we, we burnt tons, but, man. It's just uh, always a lot more, I guess. So, let's see. We just got to come down about one more street and then cut over. If there's no more... Hopefully, there's not a lot of zombies out here. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that we drew a lot of them up north and everything. Brought them up no north by the farms and stuff. And I think I could just cut in this way. Well, there's still still some trickling in. It's on. It's I don't know. We, I hope we can get to the general store, guys. That's really my aim today is to get there, loot that place out. It's not looking awful. I mean, it's it's not terrible. But it's just still quite a bit of zombies. We'll probably do some more burnings then, I guess. All right. So we got a little patch of zombies right here. Not a lot. I want to see if I can just get by them without attracting too much attention. Okay. Oh, come on, man. I don't like them when they go on the ground like that. I want one of them to stay up. At least. Okay. Oh, shoot. Of course. That's going to suck. That's going to draw them all my way. Alright. Yeah, ah oh, man, that's just too many, too many right here. Um, I don't want to want to try to kill a whole bunch of them. The general store is right down here, I believe. So I think I'm getting close to it. I'm right after the park, I believe. And then, uh, yeah, look, it looks um, looks pretty empty. Not, it doesn't look awful right now. I think the general store is like right over here. Let's go take a look. Okay. Okay, we'll get a couple kills here, here and there. Get some kills in there. Alright. Can we make it to the general store? I think it's over a little bit more to the left. I think we have to cut over a little bit more. I might not be down far enough, actually, now that I think about it. 
Might have to come down a little bit. Yeah, I think it's uh down these streets a little bit more. Man, it's so hard to navigate when it's winter like this because everything looks so different. Still quite a bit of zombies. Moderate exertion. Uh, peckish and drowsy. Okay. These are all good traits. Good moodles. <laughs> Alright. I would love to get into that general store today. I think it's down here. God, I know we got to be close. Got to be close. It's eerie like this too with it all winter and stuff. It's real eerie. Can't wait for all the snow to go away. Yeah, I think it's just right down here. Well, I'll, I'll run to it. There shouldn't be too many zombies. Alright, here's the... What is this? This is... Yeah, we're right here. Okay. So I figured. Okay, the general store should be right there. And it is. Okay. Alright, can I get into this general store without... With not too many problems? I, I might be able to, I think. I don't know if I've been in here. I th don't think I have been. Uh, the door is open. Which uh, sometimes leads me to believe that I was in here. I I'm, I'm probably did come through here at least once. But I'll, I'll, I'm looking for a monkey bar, so. I mean, a monkey wrench. You know, maybe I wasn't in here. I don't know. Well, we do need a map. Um, we'll take the can openers and things like that. They're good for steel. Uh, cleaning liquid charcoal. Uh, the cleaning liquid's good for making the, the grenades or bombs or anything. Yeah, I would have grabbed the medium Alice packs. Come on. Last time I came in here, I don't know. I'm not gonna get them now, of course. But let's see what else we got. Can openers for steel. I mean, I could grab a lot of this stuff. A lot of this stuff is useful. Just want to see if it can find me um, some monkey wrenches. Okay. No, no. Not seeing it, but uh, we should probably grab other things if they're if they look important. Hmm. Yeah, I figured some of these zombies might be starting to come right now. We'll see if they start wanting to come inside. Okay. Huge batteries. Well, I should grab the batteries and the cooking pots and stuff. It's just that's just being lazy. Hmm. And the kettles. They're all good stuff. Okay. Coffee, fish tanks, eh, you know, food stuff, food items. I'm just not really interested in right now. Dog, but yeah, you know what? I did come in here. I remember, but I came in here real quick. It was like a really quick, like in and out. So I probably did leave, maybe a monkey wrench somewhere. Looks like the loot uh, was wasn't distributed correctly in here. Okay. Nothing, nothing really great yet. I looked at that. Yeah. Okay. How about in here? Metal box. We get more steel off of it. Uh, CD player for dismantling. We gotta do a lot of that anyways. I'll take the nine volt. Why not? Christmas lights. Don't need them. Small flashlight. Tea bags. Ah, I got a tea bag. Tea bag for you, my friend. Ah, man, that's just that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking, guys. Come on, man. You know, you get you go crazy when you're all by yourself in the, in the apocalypse. You just go a little nutty. I don't think I see... I'm just not seeing a, a monkey wrench yet. I know I got all those boxes upstairs. Really hoping I have that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead... Actually, I'll do that upstairs. I'm going to go ahead and make my canteen belt here pretty soon. Probably, probably right after I look at all these boxes, make sure I don't see any like monkey wrenches. I could chop down some of these boxes. It'd probably be a good idea. I don't. Oh, I wonder if I have my sledge on me. I didn't even think about that. I probably do. I normally keep it on me. Oh, I didn't. I don't have my sledge on me. Oh well. That's all right. All right. Uh, no monkey wrenches, huh? 
I'll probably have to go down to another storage area to get those. To get some more monkey wrenches. Another large Alice pack. Man. And a medium one, too. Uh, can openers for steel. Yeah. Huge batteries. I don't really know what the huge ones are used for, so I'm just taking them, but... Another canteen. And I don't... Yeah, I'm, I'd have to chop down these boxes, I think. Oh! Did I just see, like, a combat knife and I didn't take it? Yeah, oh, we got some jack knives. Um, some kitchen knives. We'll take them. And, yeah, unfortunately not finding uh, what we needed. Oh well. I'm gonna actually sleep in here I think for the night. Let's make our canteen belt and I think that'll probably be it for the day. Let's uh, pour out what we have in our canteen. We'll just pour it on the ground. And then let's get our other canteen. We'll put it up here and there we go. And then we'll make attached canteens and then we'll go ahead and fill that up real quick. Alright, there we go. So we got a nice little canteen belt. It actually took all the water there and it didn't even fill up all the way. Um, just make sure there's nothing really cool in here. Some copper cable, I'll take that. And medium batteries, of course. And seeds and little batteries, not really interested in them. Metal box, we'll take. And I think I looked at all these, but you know, I guess I might as well just do a, a glance over them, make sure there's nothing on here if I missed. Yeah, not really seeing it. Not seeing anything. Uh, let's just go to sleep. I'm going to sleep up here. I know a lot of people say don't ever sleep away from your base. You know, but, you know, I, I, I'm adventurous. Okay, let's go ahead and close that door. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay. Let's get some sleep, and I think that'll be it for today. So, uh, yeah, so we got our, we checked out the fire to so see how the zombies were burning. There's still quite a bit of zombies up there. Um, we might get back to burning again, who knows. Um, uh, we made a, a trough, and we made a vat. Um, in order to make our water pump, we're gonna need to get a, uh, some monkey wrenches and a lot more steel pipes it looks like but i hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see further take it easy you guys thank you for watching and have a wonderful day